Hey, today we're going to be talking about sex positions. I'm going to share with you the 20 best sex positions that I like to do myself. All right, well, this video is going to be in a format, uh, in a presentation format. I'm going to share with you some pictures and some drawings so that you can, I can illustrate uh, all these positions that I want to share with you today. So um, we're going to jump into the computer right now. Stay tuned till the end of this video. I know it's a bit long. I'm going to share a link at the end of, the, of this video that I think is going to be very interesting for you. Hey, welcome to this presentation on the 20 top sex positions for great sex. Today I'm going to share with you something that's fun. It's a lot of fun to know what positions you can do. You can try to make your sex life better and more enjoyable. So I'm going to share with you 20 of them. Some are more easy, some are a bit more difficult, but uh, they're, I'm sure they're going to help you have some ideas. At the end, you, you, you want to have ideas and, and try them and see whatever you can do. And uh, just enjoy sex and have fun. Uh, that's at the end what we all want. So I'm going to start with... Uh, I'm going to... Okay, I want to share with you something that's very important to understand. Because many people, they are always... They look at the Kama Sutra and they think there are a lot of different positions and they think they have to do all of them and that's the way to be a good lover and so on. And okay, it's fun. I I, I love the Kama Sutra. It's fun to get some ideas and to, to see what you can do. But at the end, we need to, to stay a bit more basic in terms of, especially if we want to have orgasms. Okay, but uh, some people get very crazy about things. But at the end, and this is my opinion that this is something very personal here. I think there's three basic sex positions which are the missionary the girl on top and the doggy style those are the basic ones if you think about it any sex position any other sex position is a variation of this of, of these three positions so the three basic uh, sex positions are the ones that i just mentioned and that's the missionary uh, i'm going to share this i know most of you know this okay uh, I, I don't want to bore you but uh I just want to share it with you because some people may not know it. So it's just very, very, very quick. I'm going to go through them. The missionary, this is the missionary. The guy is on top and the girl is laying on down and she's with her legs open. Okay. This is the missionary girl on top. She's uh, sitting on top of the guy. The guy could be uh, could be laying down here. This is just a picture here, but uh, he could be laying down as well. So this is the guy, uh, the girl on top. And this is the doggy style, which is she's uh, on her four like a dog, like a dog, basically. And uh, and he's coming from behind. OK, these are the three basic sex positions in case you didn't know it. OK, now this is uh, now you know them. Now, these are some fun and best positions variations. OK, and these are my favorite ones. There's a million. OK, don't take this. Don't take my word as the only ones. OK, I, I'm just sharing with you the ones that I like the best. And uh, you can try them if you don't know them. If you know them, okay, well, then you know them. But um, these are just my favorite ones, okay? Uh, this is the reverse uh, cowgirl. Um, on the reverse cowgirl, this is a great one. I love it. And and uh, what I want to share with you also with this um, uh, th these pictures is I'm going to tell you what I, I think, why I like them very much, okay? And this one is very exciting to the eye, uh, especially this is very much for the guy. Also for the girl, because she's going to enjoy it and, and she can actually lose herself here because he's not looking at her face and she, she's looking somewhere else and uh, she can just enjoy herself and <clears throat> put any faces she wants. Uh, but for the for the guy, we, we are very visual, you know that. And uh, now that the, what we see here, you know, her butt and, and it's a very, very nice for the guy. OK, it's, it's very nice. We can do some spanking here as well, which is fun as well. It's very easy to do uh, if you like to do that. So. This is a fun sex position. The lotus flower, for me, this is a very, very special one. And I love to do this because I think it's a very romantic, if you want to call it, uh, sex position. Uh, it's called the lotus flower because it looks like a lotus flower. You can see the guy here, well, the lotus position, basically, uh, for the yoga uh, people. And um, and she's doing the same thing. And now here, the, the good thing is that there's not much thrust because there's you cannot really much uh, you you cannot sorry about that you cannot really move so fast, uh, but um, but it's really romantic and, and and basically it's just you moving your your pelvic area very slow. This is a, a slow motion sex position uh, if you want to call it like that. Okay, uh, what's good about it? Uh, you can really there's a lot of touch. There's a lot of you know the very easy to kiss. 
very easy to 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 get you have access to almost every part of of his body and her body and it's just very romantic I, if you want to do a, a romantic sex session uh, this is a great great position and 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 really um a good it's also a good thing for the guys because here you can uh, to stay hard it's not so easy uh, sometimes so so it's really a good exercise to to you know to 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 put uh, your your strength into into um for a test and she needs to move uh, not not all the time i mean this this is a very slow motion as i said before but just make sure that she moves a little bit so that, that you don't lose your 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 erection okay uh, extreme girl on top okay th this is the the picture i found you he could be lying normal okay but here the the important position here because he i don't know if he's going to be okay here with his head all the way down it looks like he's sleeping but i don't know it's it's just a picture i found but at the end what's important here is the position of the girl you can see that she's leaning backwards with her uh, legs uh, sorry with her arms uh, on the bed uh, what's good about it is the angle of of the entrance of the penis the penis is going okay it's it's coming more towards the 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 g spot okay towards the front uh, wall of the vagina so it's a great position for her to um stimulate her g spot uh, she she has to lean backwards this is the key of this position okay and it's extreme because okay she has to do some some strength here with uh, some 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 uh, she has to her arms are going to be a bit tired because she's going to have to hold all her weight with her arms and if the guy is doing this then again it's you know it's a bit i don't know if it's good for the back here <laughs> but anyway this is the picture i found reverse on the knees uh, this is similar to the reverse cowgirl but uh, this one is a bit less um it, it's like less extreme i guess uh, she's going to be uh, on her knees it's great because for her, she can she has a lot of uh, strength here. She can move very fast, and she can control where the penis is hitting on her vagina here very easily. Okay, for the guy, it's also uh, comfortable, but it's comfortable because his his knees are up, and she ha she can hold to his to his knees here, so she can really have a lot of strength and a lot of uh, control over what she's doing. So she this is a one for her. Okay, this is a good position for her. Okay, uh, kinky reverse. Okay, this one is fantastic, and uh, picture is not very neat here. Okay, but I think you can get it. Uh, you can see here. Okay, this one is she's basically like a doggy, doggy style position, but but she's you know it's uh, she's on a reverse uh, cowgirl position as well. For the guy, this is fantastic. The the, the uh, visually very exciting, uh, very easy access to her butt. Mm, and uh, okay for spanking and things like that is fantastic for her is a bit tiring you can see she's is almost doing a push-up here so anyway but but it's a great one if you want to guys if you guys want to try it it's fantastic this is one for the guys okay and uh, lying reverse uh, this one I love to do this one this one girls love it as well and uh, it's also very romantic it's easy access to kissing and and to to whispering to the ear actually if you want to do some some naughty talk uh this one is great because you can talk to her ear very easily and you have very easy access to her breast here you can do a lot of with her breast you can really caress it uh, uh, caress her breast and 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 have good good um good excitement there and and uh, the position itself is is fantastic as well for her here she has to move because he doesn't have much movement the only way he can really move and you can do that is when she she could open her legs and 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 then he can actually start moving but if her legs are crossed like this or close is is difficult for the guy okay but this is a great one and 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 at the angle here to end of entrance is fantastic also it, it's a bit towards uh, the g spot so it's it's a good stimulation there the X factor okay this one is really good for the girl she's gonna be laying here and she's gonna be enjoying it uh, she doesn't have to do anything okay the guy will be standing you cross her legs I mean you can do this also on the bed when he doesn't have to be standing but uh, it's a bit more stressful on his knees he's gonna be on his knees and it's gonna be a bit more difficult but you can do it as well so now you're gonna cross her legs and that's gonna give a lot of um, you're going to have a lot of thrust and a lot of uh, friction here on, on her vagina because her vagina is, be, is going to be closer. It's going to be closer, not closer, it's going to be more closed. Okay, it's going to be, uh, and, and you're going to have a lot of 
uh, friction when you introduce your penis here. And uh, it's great. It's great for the guys and for the girls as well because they're going to feel more, okay? And the guys are going to feel uh, the vagina um, tighter in this position. The scissors, uh, this one is awesome. Uh, her, her leg here doesn't have to be up there, but you, it's called the scissors because you can see it's like a scissor. Uh, his leg is here, his leg is now you don't see his other leg and her leg here and her leg there. This is fantastic and it's really um, great. It's quite deep penetration actually with this one. She can put her leg here as well, like crossing, like she doesn't have to be laying sort of like facing up. He can, she can be laying sort of like sideways and with his leg, this leg right here. It's also a good position uh, if she doesn't want to be like this. But it's a great position, very deep penetration here. It's uh, fantastic. So last, I'm going to share with you the difficult and advanced positions. Okay, these ones are for the studs, <laughs> okay? For guys who are really, uh, you know, because at the end, it, when I mean difficult, I mean uh, you need to have strength, okay? That's why they're difficult, because you need to be physically very strong to do them. It's not because no, because you cannot do it. You, you must be strong and probably very flexible as well, okay? So the wheelbarrow, this one, you know, for the girl is quite comfortable, I guess. Not that comfortable really, because she's going to have to do some 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 strength here. She's going to be having to hold her weight somehow. But for the guy, he's going to be he's going to have to have very very strong arms to do this for a long time. So most of these positions you cannot do for a long time, but they're great to do because they're fun. Okay, so uh, it's great and very visually very exciting for the guy. This one fantastic for the guy visually and uh, and for the girl it's just fun it's just a different angle it's a different thing so you can try it the g-spot max uh, this one is is very good for the g-spot stimulation for her she's going to be is more difficult for the her for the girl here but but also very good for her because she's going to feel the the, the g-spot you, you're going to the entrance here the more she goes backwards the more she's going to the, the penis is going to go uh, towards the g-spot so it's a great G-spot uh, position. The guy can stimulate the clitoris very easily or the breast or whatever. So the V-up, uh, here the girl is going to be sitting like a V, also very good for a G-spot as well. Um, and uh, basically here she's going to have a lot of strength and she has to move. He he's he cannot do anything here really. He's This one, the guy is very, very, uh, let's say, you know, that he cannot do much. And she can she can do all the all the movement and everything. It's great for 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 G spot. And here you can very good for for sometimes when you're having sex is very it's great to look into the into you, each other into the eyes. Okay, sometimes the eyes speak a lot about everything. And and I I recommend to look into your eyes when you're having sex sometimes because that that's gonna transmit a lot of energy, sexual energy, and 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 you're gonna tell many things to your partner with your eyes. Okay, the last one, uh, I don't know if this is the last one, but this is the embrace pin. Uh, okay, guys, this, these names, is I'm, I made them up. This, <laughs> this is how I like to call them. Uh, I don't know if there's a scientific name for all these things, but I like to call them like that. It's just, I don't know, I, I think it was fun to, to, to put some names to this. So the embrace pin, this one is, you need to be very flexible. The pin is because the guy here is doing like a pin here. And... Um, <sighs> The girl, she's going to be very, she needs to be very, very flexible. Now, here the girl is, she's going to be doing most of the movement and she can do it. So this is very, you know, uh, extreme position. Uh, I, I've tried it before. I like to do yoga and I've tried it before. And okay, it's just fun to do it, just to see the, the feeling and whatever feels, uh, you know, it's just fun to do it. So, um uh, okay, the, it was not the last one. The, the, this one is the last one. Is the only for studs, and because this one, I've tried it so many times. You can do this if, if you're going to do this for the first time. Do it against a wall. Uh, the girl, she can be you, put her against a wall here. Okay, her, her wall on the, uh, the wall should be on her back because it's going to help you uh, maintain uh, her up. Okay, because you need a lot of strength actually. You know his his arms are in not in the right position. I think normally his arms should be his hands should be right here on not on her butt but mo like on her thighs here right on the bottom. Now this is a fun position to do, very much fun position to do, very energetic, very you know like wild sex kind of position. You know the the ones that you see in the movies and things like that. Uh, 
but uh, if you're not very strong it's going to be very difficult to do because both of you are going to have to do strength uh, a lot of uh, power to, to to maintain yourselves if you put her against a wall it's going to be a lot easier uh and 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 you can actually instead of putting the the the, the hands here put put the like here where the where your elbow is the the forearms put her thighs right here you can see so you're going to have more strength you're going to have to bend down a little bit because if not you cannot reach but uh but sometimes it's easier if you do it like that because uh, she's uh because you're going to hold a little bit more but this one is only for studs i have to say because i when i've tried this one i, I cannot last for very long it's 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 just uh the, the 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 heat of the moment thing okay that's it guys uh, i don't want to make this very long sometimes these videos get very long and i don't want to bother you with them uh, so um try them out and enjoy sex and uh keep calm and have sex all right i hope you enjoyed that video and that you're still here uh this is a very personal video uh, and uh, again do everything in sex just try new things try new positions uh whatever i shared now with you you can try but there's no rules in sex there's anything you do is okay if you like to do it just do it and try it and just the most important thing in sex is having fun so as i said at the beginning of the video i'm going to share this link with you uh, I'm going to put a link right here and I'm going to put a link up here if you're on the mobile. I'm going to share with you this. If you click on that link, you're going to go to this incredible sex course that I did myself. And it's an incredible sex course that's going to teach you everything you need to know uh, about uh, female orgasms, about uh, sex positions, about how to give uh, the techniques that you need to know in order to give incredible orgasms to your woman so check it out you get free videos you get a lot of free stuff and uh, and uh, it's just fantastic so um if you liked this video please two thumbs up down below uh don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh the the link right here uh so you can get all the videos every week and also i'm going to put a link right there uh to my blog where you can uh, also uh, read more things and uh, interesting articles about sexuality in general so thank you for watching i will see you in the next video bye